Okay, so today we are looking at combined events. Okay, now this does fall under the probability umbrella. Okay, but we need to start thinking about drawing some tables, listing all the different possible outcomes. Okay, get yourself a pencil, get yourself a ruler, um, some coloured pens and a highlighter, and we'll have a very good go at these. So, this is a very common question. Okay, you can see I just abbreviated it for you. So we're going to flip a coin and we're going to roll a dice, okay? And we're going to list all of the possible outcomes. Now I've seen people in the past, now I know it says list, okay? But I see people literally writing them all out, okay? But you might forget one, you might miss one out by mistake. Simple trick, draw a table. Okay, flip a coin, so we know it could be head or tails. Roll a dice, we know it could be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's draw a table. So we've got head or tail here. Okay, I'm going to put a H there, uh, T there for tail. And then one, two, three, four, five, six going across here. Obviously, yours is going to be a lot neater than mine. So halfway would be there, and then I'll chop these. Into three to have six all together. Right. So let's use a different colour pen. Let's make this stand out. So we've got head and tail, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're going to fill in this these boxes here now. How many boxes do we have? We have twelve. Okay. The reason why we have twelve, we have two possible outcomes here, and we have six possible outcomes here. So what have we done? To these two to make 12. Well, we've tied them together. Okay, so that's how many total possible outcomes. So if we list these there, let's use a blue pen. So we're going to have, we could have head and one. Then 2H3, you can see you're just going to follow the pattern here because these are the different outcomes we could have when flipping a coin and rolling a dice. Now, this is the easy bit. Okay, I should have put little commas in between these as well. That's the easy bit. You get a mark, maybe even two marks just for doing that. Okay, sometimes they give you a table, sometimes they don't. But if you can train your brain, whenever you need to list the possible outcomes, draw a table, you'll know you will get them all. That bit's the easy bit. Now there's always questions underneath, okay? Part B, part C. Okay, what is the probability when we flip a coin and roll a dice that we get a tail on a coin? Okay, so the probability of getting a tail on a coin and the number four. So the probability of tail four equals, well, you can see here, yes, there are six possible times we can get a tail. However, they said it needs to be a tail and a four, which is this, which is only once. So it's one out of 12 total possible outcomes. Okay, it could also be the probability of landed on a head and let's say even number okay so head and one no that's not one because one's not even that's head and even there's one there one there and one there so we have three out of 12 possible outcomes okay be careful here now okay it could say prime number, it could say square number, maybe even cube numbers. Okay, so be careful. You need to be quite fluent with the proper properties of number in order to help you with probability. Okay, we see those quite a lot. So draw a table, be careful what's asking. Remember, we've used that total possible outcomes a few times here with our fractions. I'm not going to simplify it. Okay, we could divide both by three to get one over four, a quarter. But little rule of thumb for you, probability, don't have to simplify it. Keep it as it is. You'll notice I use fractions. 
okay? Personally, I think fractions for probability are a lot easier to use in decimals, and like your little default setting should be to write as a fraction, okay? Makes it easier, you get the mark easy peasy every time. Okay, so how about a spinner then, which has an A, B, C in it, and a spinner that has one, two, three, four? Now, I know spinners were back in the olden days, okay? Just to show you what they are though, you have to imagine now there's a little stick sticking in between there, spin it and it will land on one of them and that is the the letter that is represented okay spin it lands on a b then it's obviously a b here um stick in the middle spin it whenever it lands on that's the number okay um, we need to list the total possible outcomes here we have a b c here we have one two three four we have three possible outcomes here we have four possible outcomes here total possible outcomes we multiply these so we know again we're going to be 12 as our total possible outcomes but we need to draw a table this spinner has three so for our first one we're going to have three going down and we have four going across so let's have a big table Obviously, you're going to use your ruler. Halfway to two, and then chop those in half again to have four. 12 squares, 12 possible outcomes. Now we need to start filling it in. Well, first spinner was ABC. Second spinner was one, two, three, four. Now we're going to fill it in. Well, all of these are going to be A's. You can see I've used colours to represent certain spinners. I'm going to use the red here to, for the spinner with the letters. And I'm going to use green then for the number. So I've got A1, A2, A3, A4, B1, B2, B3, B4, C1, C2, C3, C4. Again, one or two marks, just for filling the table. Now, be careful with the questions. We could have, what's the probability of selecting or getting a B on the first spinner and a two? Well, B and two, you can see there's only one of them there. Okay, it's only one out of 12. Okay. How about probability of C and prime, okay, a prime number? Is one prime? No, okay, prime number has exactly two factors, okay, one in itself. Two is prime, okay, that's a prime number and that is a prime number as well. Four is not prime, so we have two out of 12, again, I'm not going to simplify. Okay, so combine events, draw the table, find out how many total possible outcomes, be careful with what's being asked for probability. Hope it helps.